Hello artists, how are you today? It's Stephanie Ani coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. We are very happy you are here with us today. We are. Let's see, uh, I believe today is April 24th. For me, it is April 11th. So I'm getting all of my intros done. I got all of my backgrounds done. So excited about that because now I get to start playing with these backgrounds and these backs and I can't wait. Distress Oxide Pads, right? So we did the uh, Distress Oxides sprays early on. Um, let me see if I can find that for you. Here you go. This is a Distress Oxide Spray, Distress Oxide Pad. I was able to get a fairly similar feel and uh, technique to it. Um, this time I did uh, still glazed it with the Mod Podge afterwards, but I kind of um, um, diluted that Mod Podge a little bit with a little bit of water and it went over quite a bit easier. I think for a background, it's super cool. And um, I really do enjoy the Distress Oxides, uh, whether it is the pad or the spray. I like both of them. Um, I can get a similar effect with the pad is what I can get with the spray. Um, so if you have one or the other, I don't think you should feel the, the absolute need to go out and purchase both. Although the sprays are pretty cool and those just came out here recently. Uh, I was able to get some kind of cool stamping texture with this, um, by using, uh, just a piece of deli sheet that was all mushed up. Uh, and then some of this blue that was on here was from um, the deli sheet that I was using underneath was picking up probably I think the uh, the ink tense pencils. So that's where that blue comes in. All of a sudden I get this blue tone down here in the bottom. So um, that's where it was at. This is where I sprayed water on it and it all kind of just ran together. Uh, I do like the Distress Oxide pads. I, I, I like the Distress Oxide. I'm just trying to think here if I have one that's close by that I did with the Oxides. I don't think so. Sorry, I was just looking through my books here real fast. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day and we will chat soon. Oh, wait, I do. Let me go grab it. Just a minute. All right, here is an example of using the Distress Oxide uh, the pads. This is an example of using that within your book. Um, you can get some really great colors um, here. Now this is the Circus Altered book. Some of you guys have seen this. Uh, all of the videos are on YouTube for it, but look at that cool background. Isn't that awesome? So yeah, you can get some really great effects with the Distress Oxides. And a little bit of Mod Podge over the top. Uh, it, it gives a great finish. I'm trying to see here if any of these others. I think that's the only one that I really used the Oxides that strongly with. So, okay guys, here's the video. We'll chat soon.